Well, let's bring in Saka at this point, because you were on the Syrian-Lebanon border just a couple of weeks ago. There's been so much talk about the influence of Hezbollah fighters in recent weeks. What did you see and what do you make of that? Well, you know, when we were there, it was really the first time that Hezbollah was openly admitting that it had fighters in Syria, and it was showing the media that, uh, that its fighters were willingly crossing the border. You know, there have been uh, fears and suspicions about this for for many, many months, for years, but really this was the first time that it had happened. And they're claiming that it's in response to Free Syrian Army attacks from Syria onto Lebanese land. Uh, a lot of the border areas have been hit by rock they were very keen to show us uh, the, the rocket damage which they said was you know inflicted upon Lebanon uh, and narrowly missed a civilian gathering weddings and schools were nearby um, it was also very close to a Hezbollah uh, local headquarters um, so you know they're claiming that this is uh, is merely a response that they're defending Shia neighborhoods uh, on the Syrian side of the border that they're defending the border as well and President Assad was very keen to to push that message home that you know Hezbollah is not fighting with us or for us, we're not desperate. All they're doing is, is manning the border and controlling the border to stop foreign fighters coming into the country. And that really is the, the Assad Hezbollah narrative at the moment. It's that, you know, it's a defense against foreign terrorism.